A shy and exclusive species, the eastern green mamba is rarely seen. This exclusiveness is usually attributed to its green coloration, which blends with its environment. It has also been observed to use certain weight or ambush like many vipers, unlike the other active style typically of other snakes. It preys on birds, eggs, bats and other rodents such as mice and rats. Its venom consists of both neurotoxins and cardiotoxins. Symptoms include swelling of the bite site, dizziness, nausea, difficulty breathing and swallowing, irregular heartbeat, convulsions progressing to respiratory failure. Bites that produce severe poisoning can be quickly fatal. The eastern green mamba is a large snake with a slightly compressed and very slender body with a medium to long tail. Adult males average around 1.8 meters in total length, while females average 2 meters. This species rarely exceeds lengths of 2.5 meters. In general, the total length is 4 to 4.3 times the length of the tail. The eastern green mamba has bright green upper parts and occasionally with isolated yellow scales and a pale yellow, greenish belly. Sometimes they are duller in color before molting. Juveniles are blue to green, becoming bright green when they are around 25 centimeters long. The coffin-shaped head is long and slender. When threatened, the eastern green mamba, when threatened, is capable of flattening its neck into a slight hood. The medium-sized eyes have round pupils, the borders of which they have narrow golden or olive green becoming bright green. The inside of their mouth may be white or bluish white. Other green snakes are often called green mambas in southern Africa, including green forms of the broomslang, which can be identified by their large eyes and shorter heads. They are also venomous. Green bush snakes are also commonly confused with the eastern green mambas. The eastern green mamba has the largest toxic venom of the three mamba species, but it is still highly venomous. Although most commonly encountered, green mamba is generally avoided by humans. The peak period for bites in this species breeding season from September to February, during which they are most irritable. The snake tends to bite rapidly, and one bite can contain 60 to 95 milligrams of venom. The lethal dose of LD50 in mice is 1.3 milligrams per kg. Symptoms of this species venom include pain and swelling of the bite site and which can progress. The effects include dizziness, nausea, difficulty breathing, swallowing, irregular heartbeats and convulsions. Neurotoxic symptoms such as paralysis may be mild or absent. Bites that produce severe envenomation can be rapidly fatal. Fatal outcomes are as quickly as 30 minutes. Similar to the venom of most other mamba, the eastern green mamba contains three finger toxin agents. The exception in the black mamba whose venom lacks the potent alpha neurotoxin it is thought that this may reflect the species' preferred prey, which is small mammals for the mainly land-dwelling black mamba. The green mamba is native to regions near the coastal lines of southern Africa and East Africa. Its range extends from Kenya south towards Tanzania, Malawi, and eastern Zimbabwe. It can also be found in Zanzibar and northern Mozambique. An isolated population found in South Africa from the extreme northern west parts of Eastern Cape along the KwaZulu-Natal coastline and into southern Mozambique. Exclusive species that lives in trees and usually will camouflage in foliage. It's believed that its habitat is limited to tropical rainforests in the coastal lowlands. Unlike its close relative, the black mamba, the eastern green mamba, is rarely found in open territories and prefers relatively dense, well-shaded vegetation. 
as well as mild forest habitats. It is also common found in farm trees such as citrus, mango, coconut, and cashew. In coastal East Africa, it is known to enter houses and may shelter in thatch roofing dwellings. The black mamba is a long, slender, cylindrical snake. It has a coffin-shaped head and medium-sized eyes. The adult snake's length typically ranges from 2 to 3 meters, but specimens have grown up to lengths of 4.3 to 4.5 meters. It is the longest species of venomous snake in Africa. The second largest venomous snake species overall exceeds the length only by the king cobra. The black mamba is a front-fanged snake with fangs up to 4.5 millimeters in length. Located at the front, the tail of the species is long and thin, making up 17 to 25 percent of its body length. The body mass of the black mamba has been reported to be about 1.6 kilograms. Specimens vary in color, including olive, yellowish brown, and gun metal, but are mostly black. The scales of some individuals may have a purplish shine. Individuals occasionally display dark molting, which may appear in the form of diagonal crossbands. Black mambas have grayish, white underbellies. The common name comes from the inside of the mouth, dark bluish gray to nearly black. Mamba eyes range between grayish brown and shades of black. The pupil is surrounded by a silvery white or yellow color. Juvenile snakes are lighter in color than adults. These are typically gray or olive green, darkening as they age. The black mamba is the most feared snake in Africa because of its size, aggressiveness, and venom toximity, and the speed of onset of symptoms following death, and is classified as a snake of medical importance by the World Health Organization. A survey in South Africa from 1957 to 1979 recorded 2,553 venomous snake bites, 75 of which were confirmed as being from the black mamba. Of these 75 cases, 63 had symptoms of envenomation and 21 died. 62 received an antivenom that had no effect on the black mamba venom and 15 of 35 people who received the anti-venom died. Unlike many venomous snake species, the black mamba's venom does not contain pro-TC enzymes. Its bites do not generally cause local swelling, and the only internal symptoms may be a tinging sensation in the area of the bite. The snake tends to bite rapidly and let go, so there can be multiple puncture wounds. Its bite can deliver about 100 to 120 milligrams of venom on average. The maximum recorded dose is 400 milligrams. The venom is neurotoxic and symptoms often become apparent within 10 minutes. Early signs include a metallic taste and drooping eyelids. Other more general symptoms include nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, sweating, and goosebumps with red eyes. The bite of the black mamba can cause collapse in humans within 45 minutes or even less. Without the appropriate antivenom, symptoms typically progress to respiratory failure, which leads to collapse and even death. On the ground, it moves with its head and neck raised up. Rock cavities and tree cracks are used as shelter. Black mambas in South Africa, they are recorded to bask between 10 and 7 a.m. and again from 2 to 4 p.m. They may return daily to the same basking spot. Often unpredictable, the black mamba can move quickly. In the wild, black mambas seldom tolerate humans approaching more closer than 40 meters. When it sees a threat, it retreats into bush or a hole. When confronted, it is likely to engage in a threat display, opening its mouth to expose the black mouth and flickering its tongue. It also is likely to hiss and spread its neck into a hood, similar to that of cobras. 
during the threat display and sudden movements may provoke the snake into performing a series of rapid strikes leading to severe envenomation. The size of the black mamba and its ability to raise its head a large distance from the ground enables it to launch as much as 40% of its body length upwards so mamba's bites to human occur on the upper body. The Jameson Mamba is a highly venomous snake species of the Mamba genus native to Africa. It has a slender body with dull green underparts and cream underparts and reaches around 2.2 meters in length. Two subspecies are recognized, living mostly on trees. This Mamba preys mainly on birds and mammals. Its venom contains neurotoxins and symptoms include swelling of the bite site, dizziness and nausea, also difficulty breathing and swallowing, irregular heartbeat and convulsions, progressing to respiratory failure. Bites that produce severe poisoning can be quickly fatal. The mamba is long and a slender snake with smooth scales and a tail which typically accounts for 20 to 25 percent of its body of its total length. The average total length, including the tail, of an adult snake is approximately 1.5 to 2.2 meters. It may grow as large as 2.6 meters. Both sexes are generally similar in size. However, in southern eastern Nigeria, found that males were significantly larger than the females. Adults tend to be dull green across the back, blending to pale green towards the underbelly. The ventral side, neck, and throat are typically cream or yellowish in color. The mamba has a narrow and elongated head containing small eyes and round pupil. Like the western green mamba, the neck may be flattened. These mambas mostly occur in Central Africa and West Africa and in some parts of East Africa. In Central Africa and as far north as the mountains of South Sudan. In West Africa, it ranges from Ghana eastwards to Tongo, Nigeria, and Cameroon. In Africa, it can be found in Kenya and Tanzania. Found in primary and secondary rainforests, woodlands, forest, savanna, and deforest areas at elevations of 2,200 meters high. These mambas is an adaptive species found in areas where there has been deforestation and human development. It is often found around buildings, town parks, farmlands, and plantations. This mamba is a tree snake more so than its close relative, the eastern green mamba and western green mamba, and scientifically more so than the black mamba. The western green mamba is a long, thin, and venomous snake, just like the other mambas in the genus. This species was first described in 1844 by American herpetologist Edward Hollowell. The western green mamba is a fairly large snake capable of navigating through trees swiftly and gracefully. It will also descend to the ground level to pursue prey such as rodents and other small mammals. The eastern green mamba is shy and lives mainly in the coastal tropical rainforest and woodlands regions of western Africa. Its venom is highly potent and a mixture of neurotoxins. Some consider the species not to be aggressive, but others have suggested they are extremely nervous and are prone to attack aggressively when cornered. Conflicts with humans is very low compared to some other species found in the region. Bites to people by this species are quite uncommon. They are rare, however, is high mainly for the recorded bites have been fatal. Rapid progression of severe life-threatening symptoms are hallmarks of the mamba bites. 
Venomous bites can be rapidly fatal. The green mamba has a long slender body with a long tail. The average length of the western green mamba is about 1.4 to 2.1 meters with large approaching 2.4 meters long. The long thin head has a distinct cantus above the medium sized eyes which have round pupils when threatened or otherwise aroused. The western green mamba is capable of flattening its neck area into a slight hood. The snake is a bright green fading to yellowish or orange towards the tail. Its scales have black margins, giving the species a network pattern. The western green mamba can be mistaken for other similar species such as the green bush snake or the boomslang. Similar to the venom of most other mambas, the western green mamba contains three finger toxin agents, the exception in which the black mamba, whose venom lacks the potent alpha neurotoxin as well. It is thought that this may reflect the species preferred prey such as small animals for the mainly highland dwelling black mamba. Overall, the venom of the western green mamba is more potent than that of the eastern green mamba and of course less potent than that of the black mamba. The toximity of the venom can vary on various factors including diet, location, age dependent on change and other factors. The SC and IV LD50 for this species is 0.79 milligrams per kg with an average weight venom yard of 100 milligrams. Like other species, Western Green Mamba's venom is among the most rapid acting venom of snakes. As a result of bites from the species are rare due to the fact that the species does not often cross paths with humans, but bites have occurred and the majority of the recorded bites have been fatal. The three species of green mamba, including the western green mamba, have venom toximities that are similar and comparable to many species of the cobras. But green mamba bites often present with more severe and life-threatening symptoms in shorter periods of time. Rates are also higher among green mamba bite victims than the cobra bite victims. Although bites are not well documented, and is not well known. When bitten, symptoms rapidly begin to manifest, usually within the first 15 minutes or less. The venom spreads through tissue of life-threatening symptoms is unique to the mambas. Common symptoms of a bite from a western green mamba include local pain, swelling, although uncommon, it can cause headaches, drowsiness, difficulty breathing, low blood pressure, diarrhea, drowsiness, and paralysis. Left untreated, all symptoms will worsen as the victim eventually dies. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and I will see you on the next one.